What is up you guys? I am so excited to be back for another video. It's been a while since I filmed. Okay guys, I'm starving. I don't think I've ever filmed a KFC video mukbang ever before. Have I? I can't remember. So we got some biscuits right here you guys. I'm so excited, I'm so hungry right now. I'm gonna tear up the food I haven't eaten all day. It's my first meal. So we're gonna tear up this food you guys. So, so far what we got going on, we got some Nashville Hot right here. These are the tenders. Let's move my PlayStation out of the way. I've been playing PS4 all day today. I've been playing GTA. Um, I can't play Fortnite. I try to get the game started. I'm, it's very confusing. So I don't even waste time with that. So if you know how to play and you want to play with me, DM me on Instagram or something. I'll give you my gamer tag. On PS4, I don't have Xbox, PS4. Um, oh, wow, they gave me large ones. Oh. All right, this is like enough for a family of like 20. This is a lot of food. Y'all see that chicken? All right, let me just. Oh, I got mashed potatoes right here. That's a lot of food. Okay, this is a lot of food, honestly. Okay, let's move the biscuits right here. Mac and cheese right here. Oh, gosh. This is like a Thanksgiving feast on quarantine. Oh, that looks good. You know what? Let me try that real quick. <gasps> they didn't give me a fork. Oh, they're, are they fucking stupid? I'm oh, sorry, I got to get anyone. Don't say that. Okay, so... Got hot sauce, barbecue, and honey mustard, and honey, because they didn't have their finger licking sauce, because someone bought it all. All right, I know I like their mac and cheese. I mean, their mashed potatoes with the gravy. I think it's a mashed potatoes and gravy. Let me try it real quick, hold on. Well, that's soft. They're probably instant, but it's, it's, all, it's all good. I don't know if they're instant or not. Thank you, Lord Father God, in the name of Jesus, for blessing this food, Lord. Please bless all my followers, Lord, and those who go without it. in Jesus' name. Amen. Mmm, that's good. Mmm. Mac and cheese time. Ready? Quick time. Nice. Let's try this. Nashville hot on the sauce. Oh, it's bright. Hold on. Let me lower that down a little bit. It's a little bite for y'all. Mmm, okay. Oh, I need that finger looking sauce though. Mmm. It's actually pretty good. The, the uh, last time I had it, it sucked. They're actually pretty good today. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty good, pretty good. All right. Now I'm the sauce man, so we're gonna try honey mustard. How's everyone doing today? I feel pretty good. I feel really, really happy. Everything's good. Mmm, I hate honey. I'm not a big fan of honey mustard, but we'll 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 give you a little shot. We'll give you a shot. Eh, yeah. it's good, eh? I was playing a GTA. I think people are from Canada. They're like, eh? I'm like, hey, are you from Canada? Oh, yeah, how do you know? We got a lot of Canadians, eh? <clears throat> That's barbecue. It's called Summertime Barbecue Sauce. We'll try that right now with the Nashville Hot.
Mmm. Mmm. That's actually really good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Give me no napkins. Come on, we're on a napkin shortage around here. Along with the toilet paper shortage. <clears throat> they were really they had really good customer service today. Usually they have really bad, but it's really good today. Have, they had a lot of business today in the drive through Yeah, this chicken is really fresh. Yeah, the chicken is really fresh today. So, Netflix. Let's talk about what I've been watching. I have been watching, I actually recently watched a show called The Circle. Brazil. Brazil version. I know America has a version. I watched it in one day. But Brazil has their own um, one. But they're speaking Portuguese. So, I don't understand Portuguese. So, I watched it with sub subtitles. My first thing ever watching was subtitles. And I honestly, I, I mean, I watched the entire season. Um, I had my favorite. I had my least favorite. And I'm not a... Um, Spoiler alert, so I'm not going to tell you who wins, but I'll tell you who was my favorite and who was my least favorite. Basically, if you don't know what it is, I think I, I talked about this once in another video. If you're looking for something actively to watch on Netflix, you should give this a shot. Well, I haven't really been into it, but... Basically, you get to know a person through their pictures and their personality on text. You only see a picture and what they write. Basically, at the end of the week or the day, they pick an influencer that they like the most. Nobody is in the same room. They're all in different rooms. And they pick the best one. The best one is an influencer, and they get to pick out who gets to go home. So basically... Your first impression. I'm telling you, I've said this before. Nobody likes a girl that is full of herself, that walks in there. Everyone's going to want me. Because more than likely, you might be pretty and beautiful on the outside. But more than likely, which I ran this a lot. Damn, you have an ugly inside. I'm just saying that. Because from experience, too. Like... Like, you might be beautiful and pretty and outside, but you're so broken, and you're so, um, nobody wants you. Like, 
and I know I'm gonna pull a little heartstrings, but it's it is real. It's true. You're mean, and yeah, everyone might want you, but not for the reason that you think that they might want you for. And you wonder why, you know. Same thing with um. With dudes too, girls go for the dude, the, the like the baddest looking dude, that looks like the best or whatever. But yet he leaves you, and you're alone and stuff. Like I've just put a lot of stuff like watching this and seeing people's minds and how they act, and how they're on the outside versus how they're on the inside. I'm not saying that's with everybody because there's a lot of people out there who are beautiful on the inside and beautiful on the outside. Um, well, a lot of people what society thinks because I mean everyone's beautiful in their own way. Honestly, I truly believe that. Um, not, not, I'm not saying everybody's is, is everyone's type, but everybody has like their own, you know? Um, but yeah, like, and that kind of like put, put, put it into two perspective for me. Um, why all my life, probably, which is why I'm so single. Not all, all my life because I've had some pretty successful re re relationships don't go for the for the outside of how hot they might look or their body or whatever because more than likely they're mean on the inside I've talked about this and before and I seem shallow but I'm not because what I'm saying is that basically I don't know like I was most attracted to on there the girl that people on there did not vote most attracted to they didn't say that she was the hottest Because on there, they all vote. Like, who is the hottest of everyone? Of the whole crew, whatever. So they pick the people. And in my eye, I mean, yeah, they probably were the best looking people. But their insides were like, damn, they were mean. They had bad attitudes. The people that I liked the most were the ones people rated least most good looking. I'm like, I like those people the most. Like, look at them. Look at, look. They're happy. They're, they show love. Like, they care for people. And I'm going to leave all this in here. You, you, usually, I feel like I'm too neutral on my YouTube. Like, I, I crop a lot of things out because I want to make sure I please everybody. But I'm, but I'm tired of doing that. I'm tired of doing that already. Yo, Stephen, be you. But I'm being, like, completely honest. So, like. It's a pretty good show, you guys. You guys gotta watch it. And I know I hit some people's hearts because I got actually told a few months ago by this girl. She said, can you please? He wrote me. She said, Steven, here's my story. Here is the story. I don't want you to say who I am, but I want you to talk about it because I want to hear what people think. Like she wants to read the comments and she wants to know what people's mind is, like what people usually mean. This is a good. Wait, what, what, what business are better? These are Popeyes. So I'm going to reach you what this girl wrote, okay? So many DMs. So many, not a lot of DMs, but like, it's so many replies back to my stories. She put, hey, Steven, I hope you're doing well. I love your YouTube channel. I'm going through something right now, and I hope you can talk about it on your YouTube channel. 
well, this is, she put, well, the story, I don't really want my name and stuff out there, but I would really love this to be the topic of discussion. She said, okay, so I really like this guy, and he says he likes me back too. We spend a lot of time together. Um, he's definitely my type. He says I'm his type too, but yet he never wants to commit to anything. It seems like he's kind of scared. What should I do? And I go on to say, oh, well, like, like what, like, is everything okay, whatever? She, she said, yeah, everything's good and stuff. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to kind of read what I said. I'm going to kind of just read. I'm not going to read everything, but I'm going to read what, what we were talking about. So I can kind of just refresh my, my memory. Okay, so basically she was saying that he, he don't want to commit. He always just wants to hang out with her and like get to know her. But she said it's going big one for two months already. And it's like he's playing games with her and stuff. So she's over there just taking it. Basically all the games and stuff. She's basically playing his game. Which I don't know why girls do that. Like I'm a dude and stuff. And, you, and when girls write me stuff like that, I'm like, oh yeah, well, yeah. Like, he's like he's playing you because like I'm a guy too. And I don't ever. Well, I can't say that because I can't say that I never have played a girl. But I'm gonna be completely honest. But um, I was like, okay, cool. Well, how does he treat you? How does he make you feel? She goes, well, honestly, he doesn't really treat me that good. That's what she wrote. I'm like, oh, damn. Like, is he beating her? And then she, and then she made it clear that he wasn't ab abusing her or anything, but he said that he kind of just ignores her, blows her off, whatever. But she said that she's really into him. I was like, okay, well, like, do you like the way, he, like, he is? Like, does he, like, does he compliment you? Like, like, she's on not really, not any of that. I'm all, okay, well, do you see yourself a future? Like, is, do you see him, like, as a husband? She's like, no. I'm all right. So like, what about him? Do you like? She's like, well, I don't know. I think it's just the outside that I like. I was like, what do you mean the outside? And she's like, I don't know why I'm like over here being counselor, like therapist. So I was trying to get like to the root because she kept going out like. And honestly, she's wrote me in before about stuff, but I just like opened it, but I didn't re reply back. I'm like, you know what? Like, I have time right now. Like, I'm gonna talk to this person. You know, like she's reached out like like a few times. So she's like, okay, well. Honestly, like, I, I I think I just like the outside of him. I'm like, what do you mean the outside? She's like, well, his style, and he and and he's my type. He has tattoos. He has, he is like the like the bad boy style. I was like, okay, so that's your type, right? Like, quote, unquote, bad boy. I was like, so what's that, like, what's that, what, what does that mean to you? And she, she, she is like, I don't know, just kind of like harder... So, basically, she kept saying, like, more like the hard, bad ASS, like, tattoo. I'm like, okay, so that's what you like. You don't care how they treat you. You just want to be seen with a person like that, right? She's like, well, and then she kind of paused, and she said, well, kind of, yeah. So, she was being honest, honestly com completely honest with me, and it felt kind of awkward for me. I was like, oh, crap, like, now we're getting deep, like, all right. I'm okay, so, like, that's the issue now. You go for the outside instead of the inside. So what do you guys think? I'm, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I met tons of girls like this. Not tons, like tons, but I met like a few girls like this. Probably like enough to know that this is just not like a coincidence that happens if you beat it. I know there's other people out here like this that like that kind of style like that kind of look for like a dude or whatever what these girls are thinking oh well, he's so hot i don't really care how he treats me he could beat me and and i and i still wouldn't care don't laugh because there's people out there like that still and it's really really sad so honestly i'll leave some links down in the description if you really need help because i feel like this is getting into a deeper discussion than i would have thought this video was even supposed to be but Nope, like if you're not married or whatever, don't feel you're obligated to stay in a relationship. You can walk away, clean your hands, and leave. I'm telling you that now. Because there's been times in my life where I thought I was obligated to stay with a person because of some mistakes that I made. And I, and I, and we left each other. She never contacted me, I never contacted her. And, it, and, it's, and it's so crazy.
good thing you make amends with the people. But, I mean, there's people like this in this situation because she's not the only one. Other girls that I've actually met in real life. This is this girl. I'm not going to say her name. She went for the outside. And she keeps wondering why he doesn't. He's, he, I mean, he's just playing her. I don't know what he's, I don't know what he gets out of it. You can put the two and two together. But I'm pretty sure she's not the only one that I'm, if you're watching this, I'm pretty sure you're not the only girl that he's doing that to. If he can't commit to you, he's not committing to anybody else. Or maybe he, he is committed to somebody else and he's just playing around with you. Who knows? If anybody's watching, you you feel like you're stuck with a person because you've had a long history or whatever and you can't move on. Even though you feel you need to, I'm telling you, you can. You might have had a really good time. Memories. Um, I'm telling you, you can move on because I'm a product of that. Um, me and my ex-girlfriend about three years ago, we were together for a while and we have memories. I lived with her. We have memories and there, there, there's just too much memories in the past like few years that we were together. This was back in like 2016. Also, the, the, this is almost before I started a YouTube. There was too many memories and there are still songs that play on my Spotify. There are still some sp songs that play on my Spotify that just give me chills and they make me tear up sometimes because the memories were that strong in those times. So I know that that's what people, some people go through is that you feel like you built so much time together that it just went to waste. So you feel like you need to stay with this person. You don't need to. If you feel like you deserve better and you want to move better for your life, you can step away from that. <clears throat> And I have learned that sometimes, out, honestly, I have learned that the outside isn't everything. They might be the prettiest from the outside, but I'm telling you, they will ruin your life from the inside. And I have known, I know people who have been through this. They have told me, I have experienced it. I have lived. There's people who might look perfect and beautiful from the outside and the most best looking person ever. And you want to make it work, but you just can't because you and persons just don't collide. Your looks might collide. You might be the best looking couple. But I'm just saying that because a lot of social media stuff. And I feel like I had to draw myself away from the, the social media. The couples of uh, social media. Because that's what people think that is standard now. And I'll, I mean, I've talked to people like like online. Like I've talked to girls on there. Like, oh, well, I want a couple like this. And they keep comparing what they want to couples that they see online. They're all like, I want what Austin and Catherine have from the Ace family. Like, I want to look like them. I'm like, why do you want to look like them? Look like you. Make you. Make, make, start a new thing of what a family should look like. Don't keep looking up at these people and thinking, oh, because who knows what's going on behind closed doors. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know if, you, I'm, I'm not going to say anything, but you don't know what, what they go through. You don't know if they're happy with each other deep down. Who knows if this is just all a scheme, you know? If you guys want to have a, if you guys want me to talk about a topic, you guys can DM me, email me, whatever. And I would honestly talk about what you guys are saying and we can open up a discussion about something to get everybody's feedback. I think that would be cool. I've always wanted to do that. So if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video, right?